So all this is just to describe my little Django app that I made to help job seekers. And it's pretty much uh, pure Django with just a drop of JavaScript bootstrap and um, it's a Postgres uh, QL database on Heroku. And the reason why I made it is um, because I think it will help job seekers that really complain about, oh, I've submitted 50 applications and I haven't gotten a job yet. Um, it'll help them to see like, okay, 50 is actually not that much. And nowadays you really need to step up the pace of your job applications and also the quality of your job applications. So I have um, some prompts based on research conducted by the now defunct TalentWorks. Great, uh, seems like a, it was a great organization um, that helped job seekers get to interviews and offers more quickly. Um, they, they, Creative Commons um, licensed all their stuff so um, their page is also archived at the Internet Archive, so definitely check it out. And um, yeah, I think this app could help job seekers. Instead of paying for a coach to tell you all this stuff, you can just enter all your job applications and then um, have it automatically calculate um, the estimated length of your job search. So it's really nice, Django made it easy to get started and also um, it has you know a lot of built-in features so I'll just go ahead and log in um, this is my fake user and um, you can kind of see here the main dashboard so there's a resource page where if your dashboard is uh, prompting you, hey, your job search is going to take a long time, uh, 40 weeks, 50 weeks remaining, 40 weeks remaining, uh, if you apply to only two or three uh, excuse me, jobs per week, then it's going to take you a really long time versus doing the recommended job search pace of about 10, maybe 15 or 20 jobs per week where they would have been done already. They have a negative weeks estimation remaining. So it would have only taken um, maybe nine, nine or so weeks at, at this pace. So it's kind of easy to visualize. So um, users can also um, download a and export a CSV of their all their job apps. Like, let's say if they need to report to the unemployment office or something, they can just export and take out all their jobs data, you know, take it with them. Um, there's also um, a list and it flags anything that's tagged with an interview as the result of the application. It's flagged uh, kind of big um, in a big card here for follow-up so um, job seekers can kind of edit their um, notes after an interview or uh, you know after they send a thank you or whatever they want to enter. And of course it's a cred app so they can be um, deleted and I probably should add a, a prompt there. Do you really want to delete prompt? Um, and of course you can add a job. So it's pretty, um, pretty easy. Um, but actually if you were to leave any of this out, you have some basic form validation, um, which would prompt you to put it in, dates. So it's a pretty simple app there. Oops. 
and let's see, submit. And you can see the job's now back at 13, the one that I deleted. So what's going on behind the scenes here, just really briefly. So uh, what's going on in, in Python is um, in the view here, the home view, your uh, get and post requests are um, happening on this home view. Um, if you're not authenticated, it's going to just show you the about page that had the screenshots. It's going to grab all job applications by the current user. And it's going to start performing calculations from the calc.py file. Um, and then it's, it's going to pass those in um, to the context. So the calc, calc file here, I've just got some notes with the um, formulas. And first we get all, um, collect all totals, interviews, offers, um, calculate the percentages of the interviews and offer rates. And then from that, we can pass them into um, this get apps required function, which will estimate how many job applications are required to receive one offer based on um, um, some of TalentWorks uh, research um, that I saw on their archive page and based on their desired offers being set at one, which I plan to change in the future to make that um, dynamically set by the user. But we just assume for now that they want one job offer at least. And then that also um, is passed into how many weeks are required based on the average number of submissions uh, per week. So we also use the daytime uh, function or um, uh, first we, we calculate how many weeks it's been since the first job application was submitted and um, we uh, calculate that against today which is um, this date taught today and um, the weeks start on Mondays and then we divide that um, by seven in order to get the week how many weeks have elapsed and then we um, we group those weeks um, by pushing them into, uh, assigning them to a dictionary. And this is just some commented out, uh, some sample um, samples of what I was getting with these grouped weeks where you can see it's returning the, the calendar um, week of the year, like the 33rd week of the year, or the 31st week of the year or something. And, on, and during that week, the dates that um, job applications occurred. And then it will calculate the average, average um, uh, right here, average number of apps that are occurring each week. And then finally, we get this progress, progress bar um, percentage number. So this um, progress bar percentage number is then passed, um, is then called inside of views. And here, yep. And then that's passed into the context for the template in our home template. And that is here in the animated progress bar. 
and it's rounded down to a decimal space and then um, it shows the user hey you have XYZ uh, numbers remaining and that percentage fills in this span to a certain percent width and that's what's rendered with the JavaScript here it sets the width of that span element by grabbing that um, data progress attribute and then it animates it um, sets the duration so when you load the page you see that cute little animation and then um, I think this is really good to encourage um, job seekers that hey 2.6 job applications per week no matter how quality they are how much time you spend on your cover letter or um, it's it's probably not going to be enough and um, you really need to use some of these resources um, in order to boost your job application rate and yeah also in the quality of your job applications um, and then I plan to add some more prompts where so it's not just a color based thing that it's more like, hey, danger, Will Robinson, you are like a whole year, 50 weeks away from getting at least one offer at your current rate. So please step things up to the recommended pace and then definite, like pointing to definite resources, recommendations, um, instead of just having the resources page exist, I'm kind of going to add some prompts in there and um, how to increase interviews and offers. So hope that is helpful. Um, again, please check out jobstrek.net. And um, if you're a job seeker, if you're not a job seeker, if you just want to show a little support, please check it out, make an account, and I'll put the link in the description. Th thanks again.